Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist David Wire, certified by the American Meteorological Society. All right, everybody, it is the Strawberry Festival one more time. Reverend Mullins joining me this afternoon. We've got some other guests as well. We'll get to them in a second, but 21 years and what do you got here? Years. This is a presentation for Mr. Don Smith for his great generosity to us for all of these years with helping us, particularly providing us a space to meet and all of his cooperation and all he's meant to us. And we are making you this day the honorary chairman of the Strawberry Fest and we hope that you'll keep this plaque near to your heart forever. Thank you for everything you've done to us. Well. Thank you. This is wonderful. I've never had a plaque quite like this before, and and of course I will keep it. I guarantee you that. And, and this is fantastic. It's just fantastic here today. The weather's fine. The people, and it's just a great show. Well, thank you so much. We couldn't do it without you. And and Don, our the strawberry also hat. the strawberry you hat. Have the strawberry hat. If you, you have to have the strawberry hat. Yes, sir. I put it on, but it looked like it, it wouldn't fit. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You're looking good. Looking good. Well, congratulations, Don. And again, thank you. We're down here, and tell us where we are. We're at 630 Ohio Street. We're on the parking lot of First Financial Bank next to First Congregational Church. And we're out here until when this evening? 8 o'clock this evening, so come on down. And, and from one Don to the next Don, introduce us to the other Don, too, please. Don Carlson is our associate pastor, and, a and she oh, also a has a T-shirt oh, for really You are. <laughs> well, again, this is, this is a staple in our community. This is here every year for the past 21 years. How late are we out here tonight? 8 p.m. What are we serving? Strawberries, shortcake, ice cream, <laughs> biscuits. The best around? Yeah. Carriage rides, <laughs> music. Well, that's a good time. A yeah, good just time. a good time. Hey, the band's about Let to start in a little bit. Friends. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. I'm going to run to the weather and talk about are we going to get rain out here? And the good news is they have got tents for us if it does start to rain. So let's get right to it and show you what's outside right now. We've got the bigger picture showing us that rain showers are out to the west of us still, but the clouds are trying to break up over us right now. So we're going to have some sunshine for a few hours, not nearly as long as yesterday, but we had several hours all afternoon, but we are going to get a little break here. Notice again out in western Illinois, some rain is not done just yet trying to move east. As far as the Storm Team 10 Fury radar over the past two hours, the heaviest rain was from Lawrenceville to Vincennes over to Washington. Rain showers now throughout Martin County. No severe thunderstorms, watches, warnings like that, nothing at this hour. So as we continue to go through the afternoon, Temperature is going to warm up. See how the broken clouds are out there from Paris to Mattoon to Robinson? You're going to have some sunshine, and it's going to stay muggy outside until tonight. It'll feel much better. We're in the 70s right now. As far as daytime highs, topping out near 79 degrees, but look at that crazy line in the middle. That's that stationary front that's been here for two days. We'll go into the future here with Futurecast, and as we get into the next few hours, notice this clearing that takes place over Terre Haute. That's exactly what we're going to deal with, but we're not done just yet. As long as that stationary front's nearby, rain will continue to develop. Your thunderstorm out look includes all of us the threat for severe weather which was around briefly yesterday looks to stay to our south but still definitely something we're going to keep an eye on we are not done with the threat for rain and thunderstorms yet today back to future cast now and here's what we've got mid 70s winds out of the west they'll be out of the north tonight roll this into the future and you'll see that again that front keeps moving off to the east the skies well they won't be totally clear tonight they will clear up a bit and we're going to have rain out of the forecast finally for a day upper 50s in the morning Winds out of the north, feeling a lot better tomorrow with lower humidity levels. And get into the day tomorrow, still plenty of sunshine around, upper 70s and winds out of the northeast. I need to introduce a chance for rain showers as we get into Saturday. The first thing that we, the first time we saw this with the computer models was this morning. Hinted at it a little bit yesterday, but notice here at the end of your future cast, rain showers trying to move in for your Saturday. Don't want to tell you that, but that's just the truth of the matter. We're trying to get some rain back in here. All right, lower 60s that Saturday morning, upper 70s. 70s, that's this afternoon. With the clouds, you may get a few sprinkles. That moves out of here, some sunshine, and then more rain and thunderstorms trying to move in after about 5 p.m. this evening after a few hours of some dry weather here. Tonight, 58, most of the cloudy rain exiting. Tomorrow, back into the upper 70s, less humid, winds out of the north. No rain in the forecast for you tomorrow, but your seven-day outlook shows us that rain does move in. A 20% chance for Saturday, 30% chance for Sunday. Unfortunately, it looks to hang around for Monday and Tuesday, and uh, June shaping up to be pretty wet. April and May were way above average, and, well, with another one to two inches of rain that fell last night, 
A few inches of rain has already fallen this morning down to the south, so again, no rain is welcome, but it's honestly in the forecast. I'm out here at the Strawberry Festival, downtown Terre Haute. We're at the corner of uh, Ohio, 6th. Between there and Wabash, they're going to be out here till 8 o'clock. The best strawberries out there. Susan